In this video, I'm going to talk about a very important theorem, which is called Frischois Lobel theorem. This effect is also called partial out effect. And this theorem is going to play a major role in which we write our regression model. For example, we may be interested in knowing which variables to include on the right hand side. And next, we're going to deal with the omitted variable bias. That is, we don't want to omit a variable that must go in the model. And this theorem will help us understand some of the dynamics between these x variables on the right hand side. I'm going to show you this theorem using a very simplified example. We're going to assume we have only two variables on the right hand side, x1 and x2. And this is the error term. And we are interested in this parameter, beta1. And we are controlling for other factors. And we believe that x2 it's also having an impact on y and it's also correlated with x1. So what we can do is we can estimate this equation in two ways. Essentially we are interested in this estimated model where we will be getting estimated values or estimated coefficients for beta 1 and beta 2. But we are interested in this beta 1 coefficient. We can get this beta 1 parameter in two ways. First we can run this model and get beta 1 or we can adopt these steps. First, we can regress x1 on x2. This is gamma1 and gamma2. And remember, y has nothing to do in this equation. We are regressing x1 on x2. And we can fit the model and we can get the fitted values of x1 gamma0 hat plus gamma1 hat. In step two, we can get these estimated residuals from this model. So these are the residuals. So we can get these residuals from this model. In step three, we can regress our y variable only on these residuals. Okay, so what are we doing? Let's call these epsilon and we can get these beta parameters. Let's call this beta tilde one and beta tilde on the estimated values of uh, the residuals. Okay, so what are we doing here? What we are doing here is in, in the step one, we are regressing x1 on x2. So if x1 and x2 are correlated, we'll get a statistically significant uh, parameter for, for this gamma 1. And then we are getting the residuals. What these residuals represent, it is uh, representing part of uh, x1 that is not correlated with x2. So we are removing the part of x1 which is correlated with x2 from the part of x1 which is uncorrelated with x2. And in the next step, when we regress y, on these residuals, we are essentially regressing y on the part of x1 which is uncorrelated with x2. And in this case, what we should get here is we should get beta1 hat equals to beta1 tilde. So both of uh, these parameters should be equal. So this parameter will be equal to this parameter. Okay, next I'm going to show you an example of uh, how it is done in R. Okay, so this was the multiple linear regression model that we regressed earlier. And here we regressed log of wages on um, education, experience, and tenure. And we saw that uh, the parameter for education is 0 0.092. We can get the same parameter by following these steps. First, we can regress education on experience and on tenure. That is, we will regress our variable of interest, which is education, on the other two explanatory variables. We do that. And then we get the residuals from this model. So now these residuals represent the part of education which is uncorrelated with experience and tenure. Finally, we will regress our wages on these residuals. These residuals, remember, are the part of education. Those are uncorrelated with experience and tenure. If we do that and see, we get the same parameter 0.092 as we got here. So essentially, what we are doing here is we are partialing out the effect of education from experience and tenure. So that's how we can get the same effect by parceling out these parameters. All right, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.